My name is John Scott. I'm a forest ranger stationed down here in Nassau County. I actually have Nassau and a part of Suffolk up to Brookhaven, so I have a pretty big area. Uh, my normal job is to work on state land. Pretty much anything that happens there is my purview. So uh, anything illegal, hiking, wildfires, search and rescues, and a lot of incident management uh, for big situations that happen. We just kind of come in and give kind of a groundwork uh, for everything to, to build upon. Uh, well, at Jones Beach uh, vaccination site, I have a, a couple hats, a couple jobs. My main job is a supply unit leader. So I'm actually in charge of all the supplies that come in and out in terms of the medical supplies, for the needles, everything they're using for the vaccinations, uh, down to the office supplies that we're using for the rest of the command staff. I'm also working as a few food unit leader. So I'm actually in charge of getting the meals here, making sure they're out for everybody, make sure everybody's getting fed, and uh, getting it all cleaned up at the end of the day. On site, there are five of us. So that's almost like 5% of all the parks we can It is, there's oh, just barely over 100 of us for the state. Right. Uh, we are, are spread out between quite a few different sites at this point. <laughs> All right, we're spread out between the different COVID sites for two main reasons. Uh, one, just because of the importance of COVID, because uh, we do want to get involved. We want to make sure everybody's being safe and getting vaccinated. So hopefully we can get over this hump eventually. Uh, and the other part is that a big, big part of our job is incident management. So we're involved in a lot of big natural disasters, a lot of big incidents where we again come in, lay the groundwork, just kind of give a framework of who's doing what job and eventually pass it over to other people so it's just up and running by the time we leave. Yep, so the particular system is called the incident command system. Um, so it's basically just a uh, kind of ladder work of like who's in charge, who you're reporting to, so that people coming in can just fill those roles. They know where to go to for what, you know who to speak to. Um, so anywhere from the incident commander who's in charge of the entire site, uh, down to say a task unit leader who's just in charge of a few people uh, like a few nurses, making sure that they're giving the vaccinations on time and, and doing what they're supposed to be doing. So in terms of my roles, um, I'm instead of responsible for people, I'm more responsible for all of the, the items. Uh, so we got all the food, all the supplies that are coming in out, ordering the supplies. So I'm working pretty much in a three-man team. Uh, so there's one person above me in logistics, which is the logistics section chief, and there's myself. And then we do have one other person that's uh, helping us with ordering and everything else that we have to do with the supplies. So COVID-19 has impacted me mostly in a professional sense. I've been very busy with the job since COVID hit. Uh, in all of last year, I've spent about six or seven months on a testing site, just working that testing site and that's it. On top of that, we've seen a lot of people going out to state land. So instead of being quarantined in their house, a lot of people are going out to state land to get out, be a part of nature. And of course, we're busier because we have to manage anything that's happening on that state land. So we're seeing probably more than double the normal people that we see in a normal day. In terms of stories that I can share what was happening in the site since COVID has hit, of course, we, so we have a lot more people. We have a lot more issues to figure out in terms of parking. Uh, one of my areas, which is uh, called Edgewood, is uh, one of the more popular ones here. It's uh, just kind of close to the border of Nassau and Suffolk. So a lot of people have been parking on the street. Uh, just to get in because they just want to get somewhere that has <laughs> nature that's not in the house. Uh, so we've had to kind of deal with that with traffic, make sure nobody's getting hit. Uh, that particular property, uh, I've had a lot going on <laughs> uh, from streakers uh, to people just riding ATVs off the ledge, um, a couple people starting fires, running around with machete. So a lot of stuff happens <laughs> when you put a, a lot of people outside together <laughs> with nothing else to do during a pandemic. The vaccine being available to me personally means that we have a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, that, because I know a lot of people have been impacted personally by COVID. They've been inside working with very little communication to the outside world. Um, a lot of people I know who can work from home but can't see family, can't see friends. Uh, there's a lot of things you can't do, a lot of interaction socially that we can't do anymore that we're, a lot of people are missing. Uh, so to me, it's just a, a light at the end of the tunnel. You can actually get back to interacting as a population, <laughs> as a community, um, and seeing some of the old things that we got to see, I miss a lot of that. <laughs> um, well, from start to end, for me, it's it's changed a lot. Uh, again, I did start at the very beginning, 
uh, pretty much day one, March 14th, <laughs> I was told to go out to a testing site and kind of get it up and running in Staten Island. We had no idea what that meant <laughs> or how long we would be there. Uh, it was supposed to be just a week or two and we ended up being there for four months before I had a day off or before I actually left Staten Island because we were staying at a hotel on and off just we didn't know if we can go home. We didn't know if we were going to spread it to anybody else. So it just became uh, just quarantine. <laughs> we we're doing nothing but working day in and day out. Um, so now that we actually have a vaccine, that we're kind of hoping to see the end of this coming out. We are, of course, ramping up because we want to be out here. We want to get the vaccine to people um, to hopefully bring an end to this and get back to normalcy. <laughs> so it's very different from start to finish. Um, I mean, we're, again, we're back out here working a lot of hours, so it's kind of like the start, but at least now it's a cure instead of just chaos and not knowing what's going on. <laughs> uh, working with other state agencies and state partners has been great. Um, as for strangers, you typically we work alone, um, so we don't see a lot of agencies when we're out there unless something like bad happens. So actually getting to network, um, getting to see a lot of people who are from the region a lot of times, they're from Nassau and Suffolk County, people that we could work with in the past and making those connections has been great. Um, so you're, we're definitely gonna be working together with them in the future. So it's been very helpful um, for us in general as, as forest rangers and just as a community, I guess. In terms of things that I wanna share with residents, I uh, definitely wanna say, first of all, it's a, it's a choice and you can't make anybody uh, get the shot, it's up to them. I have family members on both sides of the fence who, who would like to get it and who want it. So I understand both sides, but for me personally, I decided to do it. I've already gotten my first shot, getting my second one sometime next week, just because I, I don't want to be that one who can pass on it to somebody who's not going to make it. I don't want that on my conscience. <laughs>